What is going with y'all? I'm back. Rebranding of Nick at Night is here. I know I bullshitted you guys for a while and I've been saying I was going to drop this. It took me a little bit longer, but we're back. Now it's on my channel. Um, the last time you guys saw me, I was on Sweet Tea's channel. We are keeping the same type of content. It's going to be lifestyle, entrepreneurship, family. I had a family. That's what happened. When do you think you'll actually fucking settle down? I'm not. Never. No. So you don't think you'll ever get married? No. Never. I, Never. I don't want to have kids. Well, all right, hold on. But just, before, women were cool, bro. Like I would, I would enjoy it to like, you know, come home one day and have a girl meet my mom. Uh -huh. Now I can't. I don't even think I want to do that. Thank you guys for the love and support. I know it's been a while since we we're uploading on Nick at Night, but now that we are back, I'd love to introduce you guys to my first pilot episode on my page, and my guest is the mother of my child. Hi guys. <laughs> there we go. That took us five fucking tries. <laughs> Brandon's gonna clip it and make it look like one. I've never done a podcast. This is my first podcast. This is her first podcast. Ever. 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 <laughs> Anyways, um, so a lot of you guys in the comments <clears throat> were asking about Michaela right before I stopped posting. And uh, we have accumulated a list of questions that we're gonna speak about <laughs> from A through Z of how we started to where we are at. From the beginning. From the beginning. So. Ladies first, go ahead, start. Nah, bro. <laughs> We're cooked. Oh, you, why would I start? Because you, like, just started, like. Okay, so, how long have you known me? I've known Michaela since I was about 17 years old. Yeah, and you're, like, a year older than me, so since year. I was 16. Yeah. We've known each other for years. Years. Mm -hmm. Like eight or nine years. Yeah, she had some whack boyfriends and shit, and I was Shut just fucking. Shut your mouth, no. And I was just rich as fuck. No, and you were a little player. Still am. You were a little player. Shut <laughs> your mouth. No. All right, yeah, but I've known Michaela since I was about seventeen years old. She was. Wait, that sounds creepy. Sixteen. Wait a minute. We were in high school when we knew of each other, and yeah. then we didn't like really meet each other till we were like twenty, twenty-one. Yeah. Shout out to Jared. Thank you for letting yeah. me. Uh, Make a baby with your cousin. Shush. That sounded so wrong. So basically, it's a small world. You are so You're going to have to clip that. Gonna be, no, don't clip that. That's funny, actually. Bring him on. Yeah. Bring him Come on. Come out. No, I'm just kidding. He just comes up. All right. Um, well, we've known each other since we were like in high school, but didn't meet till we were like 20, 21, because long story short, my cousin ended up being his best friend. Shout out like, Jared. all of high school. Yep. And then my, my cousin boy. and I got closer, so we started hanging out more, and then that's when Nick and I had met. Yeah, and this like, is officially the... met, because we knew each other on social media. Well, I met you at Raves before, too, but... Yeah, we'd run into each other at Raves. <sighs> but yeah, this was a time where I was uploading with Sweet Tea uh, back at their crib, and I lived in Ontario, and Jared had a Halloween birthday party and invited me down, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna pull up. And I drove down from Ontario, um, and I ran into Michaela. And then we met, we talked a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, that was, nah, but that was the start of the conversation. And then about a year later, or when was it, your birthday? My birthday. A couple months later, it was her birthday. It was and, a couple months, yeah. Yeah, it was a couple months later. It was her birthday, and she went to Sharky's Newport, and I, <laughs> God, yeah. calling me out. And I had already lived in um, Orange County. I lived in Anaheim. It was my 22nd birthday. Yeah. So she had went to Sharky's Newport. She invited... Um, Jared and Jared invited me and then we all rolled up and we we're like the only people there It was just me and my girls and then I just invited him and Jared. <laughs> yeah, and then we pulled up had a couple drinks went home and then uh, She came over to my apartment. We partied for a couple of hours <laughs> Like an hour. No, it was a couple of hours. We got picked up at like four Well, cuz Sharky's ended like at two So a couple hours is two. Okay. Yeah Jesus Christ and then, I don't know, dude, I just woke up. She wouldn't leave my apartment. No, first of all, he wanted me to sleep over, and I would never sleep over your house, ever. How'd that ever. work out for her? Ever. How'd that work out for her? Stop. <laughs> not for a few, no, no. Not for a few days. Oh. A few months, She actually. showed me. How's it a few months? I never slept over your house. He wanted me to sleep over. I was like, no, I'm leaving. Look at your TikTok when we made the slap, tortilla slap video. You slept over that night. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. Nope. Why are you laughing? It's the truth. You can tell the no, truth on here. Because I didn't sleep over for a long time. Whatever the fuck happened. Someone slept over. You know? 
Tough crowd? Tough crowd? No. <laughs> it was funny, right? <laughs> All right, go into it. to the next topic of your conversation. The next question is, why, why did we start talking each other serious? Taking each other serious. Taking each other serious. Well, so after we had met, you had a crush on me, and then you wanted me to model for your brand. Yeah, it was after I modeled for your brand, and I said so, no. So <clears throat> what had happened was I needed a model on the spot. I didn't have anybody, <laughs> oh, no. so I texted Michaela. That's the truth. I texted Michaela. <laughs> Michaela replied. She did a photo shoot, got in my bed, butt naked. First no, day I met I her. Did yeah, not. I did. Okay, first of all, he calls me. He calls me at like 9 or 10 p.m. because he's with the videographer cooking up some idea. And he's like, So do you want to model for my brand? And I was like, Uh, what's like the idea? And he was like, Basically, you're gonna be in my bed and change into my my shirts but you're gonna only have your bra and underwear on and i was like hey i didn't think of this idea i was like um shout out aunt i first said no because i was like i'm not comfortable being in my bra and underwear for your video mm -hmm. like yeah i take my own photos and stuff but i wasn't comfortable to do that video shoot and then i was like no like you could get someone else i literally told him that like get someone else and he was like okay i'm gonna ask a couple more people and then i'll get back to you so then he literally texts me like, okay, so are you down? And I was like, oh, I guess I'll do it. So I ended up doing the video. It was a nice video though. It's not, it wasn't bad at all. But it was like a nice video for his brand. And then after that, that's when you just, we I did take the, we got mariscos. Yeah, we went to go eat mariscos. I was second clear first date. And then we just kind of still kept hanging out and like started dating. Uh -huh, then I had a friend she would always come over to see. Well, because then he was like, oh, I got you a Frenchie. Good Chanel. No, that was way later. November, I got you the Frenchie. Yeah, yeah. Like six months after that, bro. Oh, you're talking about Gucci. Yeah. The famous Gucci. Gucci Nader, my fucked up ass Frenchie. <laughs> Insert photo here. <laughs> oh, don't do him dirty, bro. Don't do him dirty, bro. My dog is so. F Just to let you guys know, that fucking dog's blood was really, really nice. He was an amazing Frenchie. He's still alive he's today. An iconic dog. Yeah, he's kicking it. He was the hood dog. He was the trench dog, bro. He was there before I made it. But um, yeah, so then our first memorable date was what? OC Fair, you said. Yeah, that was like a real first date. Yeah, we went to OC Fair right here. We went to the OC Fair. Costa Mesa. Uh-huh. And then after that, what was after that? Fuck, man, that's how long we've been together for, bro. That's what the fuck this shit is. Oh, yeah, like. this is taking a trip down memory lane. Yeah. After the OC fair. Because we were dating, but like, we were complete opposites. The thing is, is, we're complete opposites. He was a crazy travieso, and I was a calm, goody two shoes. <laughs> yeah, fucked up picture of Gucci. Is that what you're looking up? Let me see. Is it gangster? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, that photo. picture's good, yeah. Oh my God, he looks like Batman, bro, watching over the city. All right, uh, what were some of the red flags? You were a little player, and you were crazy. You were too much for me. That's why we I did, we didn't take each other serious at first, because you still had a whole different lifestyle. Yeah, I was still I was, gangster. I was in school, I was in college. Yeah, she was and, such a fucking nerd. And I was working two jobs. Two jobs, ugh. And like, I wasn't allowed to sleep over your house. Yeah. <laughs> and he would always say sleep over. I'm like, no, I have to go home. I have to go home. That's Mind what, you, I'd not been. Not until we started dating. That's when I slept yeah. over. Yeah. I'd been on my own for quite a while. You make me sound yeah. like a piece of shit. No. I lived on my own since I was like 18 years old. So. Yeah. And I, I wasn't. I was still living That's with why my I was parents. like, you can come. And, yeah. She, so yeah. She would she live with her mom and dad. And then. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, the only red flags you had were you're fucking annoying. You're still annoying, but... Shut your Yeah, she just didn't, like, nothing I did was good. I was always... I never even did that much bad shit. No, you weren't bad. You were just, a, like, a, a boy. You were just crazy. I was him. What can I say? <laughs> you were party boy. Yeah, that's when I was running OC Day Party. A little player, and I was like, yep. no. All these little girls wanted you, and I was like, no. Do, I'm not going to be one of those little girls. That much. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't until I started knowing the real you. That's why I was like, I wanted to take you more serious. And like. And I was just gaslighting we, her. No, no we I'm just kidding. No. No, I didn't fall for none of the gaslighting. <laughs> Obviously, you're here. 
No, because you turned into a better man. I did. Yeah, that's why. I did, I did, I did. That's why. Um, did people trip out once we started posting each other? No, not really. Maybe you never posted. Yeah, girls. For, no, that's for I'm thing. saying for you, because you had boyfriends you would post all the time. No. I yeah, you did. You always made TikToks with all your boyfriends. But when I posted, I did post to you that one time. I only had like two boyfriends. It went, it went pretty ape shit because people were like, what the fuck? Yeah, he never I never posted, posted a girl. Yeah. And that's why he, I was like one of the first girls he posted. Because we went to a rave together and you were like, let's make this TikTok. Yeah. And so we made that TikTok and that's when it started going crazy because you had never posted girls or showed girls. Like, obviously this guy has been with a bunch of girls <laughs> <laughs> before, but he had never posted them. So I was like the first girl you had posted. So that's why it was like, whoa. Yeah. The Nick Sharika has a girlfriend? And then... <laughs> caught, me, caught me slipping. <laughs> and then I, we started making cute TikToks and doing all the social media stuff together. Yeah. Because we're both social media people, too. Yeah. So yeah, people time, were always, still... like, wondering what the heck we were doing. I didn't really post too much about it, though, in general. No, but you did post. Yeah, because you... Because we went on a lot of cute dates, like... I'm a type of person that likes to do cute dates. So, like, I would say, let's go to the games. Let's go to the OC Fair. Let's go to... What else have we done? Oh, we traveled a lot, too. And he's scared of flying. I fucking so we, flying, yeah. I made him start traveling with me. I took him to Tennessee. I took him to Louisiana, New Orleans. And then... You did little... Vegas. Like, yeah, Vegas. Little family trips, too. Yep. When did we know when we were in love? I still haven't figured that part out yet, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna go crazy on TikTok. Already know. Anyways, oh my gosh. go ahead. When did we know? When did we know we were in love? Nick, why are you asking me everything? You need to answer something. It's my questions. podcast. You're the guest on my podcast. That's how it goes. I feel like I'm what was the question? If you stopped yapping, you would have heard it. What's the cute? Um, when did we know we were in love? I knew I was in love with you when, like, I really saw the real you. Like, it was so hard to crack you. Like, you had a guard up. Like, you wanted people to know what you sh like what you showed on social media. That's like what you wanted me to only see. Mm -hmm. And that's why every time, like, we would hang out and watch movies, I would ask you more and more questions. Like, oh, yeah, was she was a fucking cop. No, like, I wanted to really know him. Like, okay. Everyone on social media, some people are different. So I was like, Who, what, who's me. the real Nick? And at the time, you only showed that side of you. And so whenever we had hung out, like, I would ask you more and more questions, like, about, like, your childhood, about your family. And, like, you even brought that up. Like, you, you want to know me. Like, you want to know the real me. And you, you care about like, who I really am. And that's why you started opening up about who you were, and that's what I fell in love with. I fell in love with the real Nick, not the one that everyone else saw on social media. The, the softer you. Mm -hmm. The love you had for your family, how you took care of your family, like, how you grew up, your childhood, everything. Like, yeah, you opening up, that's when I, like, fell in love with you. Mm. Because I saw that side of you. <laughs> I think I knew I was in love when, damn, there was two times. Oh. I think the first time was just like one day, like when I just rolled over and I looked at you and I'm like, damn, you haven't left my apartment. I've been with this girl for like a year and a half. <laughs> oh that was like the first time I was like, oh shit, this is love. Cause I didn't really know what it was. But then the second time was when you gave birth. Really? Yeah. That was fucking nuts. Yeah. That was ape shit. That, that scared so the shit beautiful. out of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was pretty wild. I remember looking at. You pooping the baby out. <laughs> Shut yeah. Your mouth. And I was like, holy you shit. Did too. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, literally. Holy shit. Shut <laughs> Anyways, your mouth. Um What made me different and what made you different? You can go first. What Besides the fact that I was fucking the most famous fucking beast ever, oh but Oh my gosh. See? No. This is what we call, we call him Nick Sharika when his alter ego comes out, but mm -hmm. he's Nick OGD when he's a dad and business owner. Mm -hmm. So when Nick Sharika, like I said, when, <laughs> wait, what was the question? Yeah, I don't know. What made him different? 
<laughs> well, yeah, what made you different was because, like I said, you try to show that side of you that everyone else saw. And, like, when I knew the real you, what made you different was, like, you were this hard, like, tough guy. Uh, everyone, everyone you talked to was your friend. Like, you're just, a, like, a friendly, outgoing person. Mm -hmm. And what made you different was, like, you knew how to separate that when it came to me. Like, you were, you were my boyfriend. You were my best friend. You were the one that I could, like, literally vent to, tell everything to. You're, you were that person for me. So you knew how to separate it. I think you were different because you asked about my life, just like in general, just like about like everything before, like besides like the money and like the popularity and shit. That was pretty cool when you asked about my family. Because I didn't care about your money. And you always thought that was also the thing that he thought I was there for because he had made so much money. She ain't nothing but a gold young... dude. <laughs> no, he had made so much money when he was... Like when I had met him, but I had, I had never cared for his money because I came from a good family. <laughs> what are you staring like that for? Nothing. The lights I bright. Came, I came from like I'm not saying I came from money, but like I money was not a thing. I I had two jobs. I worked for my money. Mm -hmm. My parents always provided for me. I was fortunate enough for that. But like that's why he would say like. You're just here for the money. And I'm like, no, I am not here for your money. I could care less about your money. I don't need it. I work for mine. This is true. Yeah. And also, he tries to say about, say about sleeping over. I had work and college to go to. And he would literally tell me to miss work or miss <laughs> school. He'd be like, just sleep in, just sleep in. I'm like, no, I have to go. I would, nev I would never do. I w <laughs> no, that's not me. <laughs> yes. I would never do that. All right. Um, what do you love most about each other? I love that you love Iridesa, how you love Iridesa. I love, right now, I love how, like, we are as a family. Like, because I'm a very family-oriented person. Yeah. So I like how we're creating our own family memories. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Uh, what's the most annoying thing about each other? Oh, God. Holy fuck. <laughs> First of all, we live together. We're going to have to make another episode on this one. <laughs> we live together. So we officially moved in, moved in when we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> She's lived with me I, at no, all no. three of my fucking apartments that I've had in Orange County. Am I lying? You called sleeping over you lived, with you. You lived at You lived. I slept over You at helped me day. move into. I helped you move into. Okay, I moved. At, and then we moved in yes, here. I moved in with you. The only difference is now you have half the closet. Before okay. I didn't give you half okay, the closet. Okay, first of all, girls know what the heck this means. When a guy has their own apartment, you get a drawer or you get a cubby, right? I had a cubby and a drawer in the restroom. I had a big he ass walk-in closet and she had a whole I corner. Slowly, I slowly started taking over though. So I, had, I started off with a drawer and then a spot in the restroom. You had a fucking sink? And then, yeah, I'm saying the spot in the restroom. And then it's moving we, in, and then I started moving more stuff in. So I had like half the closet. And so now I, I don't have shit in, in my own apartment. Now I don't even got my own shit in my own apartment. <laughs> no, no. So yeah, I lived with you at that. And what? You didn't say this one. Though, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I did start. It's not that hard to find out where I lived. I did photo shoot in my own apartment. Like, <laughs> you look my shit up. Anyways. But yeah, I moved into. And then we found out we were pregnant like a few months after. And then we started looking for our own place. No. A few months after? You got pregnant? Like almost a year, yes. Yep, you got pregnant at the end of. Yeah. Literally. Like, uh, so a year, because the, yeah, the year. lease is a year. No, yeah, a year. so I lived with you for a year. Did I do a year and a half with her name? 14 months. Yeah, it was like 14 months. So it was like yeah. a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then when we started moving into our own apartment, that's when you find out all, <laughs> everything not about me. your I found partner. Out, I found out this shit before. <laughs> no, you did not. Yeah, I, did. I found out that shit in the first First time. of all, girls have a lot of clothes and a lot of things we need. And, and leave their shit a... everywhere and drop hair everywhere and fucking yes. move my shit okay, everywhere. Okay, so is that like... the most annoying thing? Yeah, all that shit's annoying. Yes, fuck yeah. The fucking okay, hair. Yeah. I got to fucking vacuum this goddamn place like I have a husky living here. Uh-huh, and that's all he does is vacuum him up. Vacuum him up because I clean this whole apartment. I uh -huh. wash his clothes. I fold his I clothes. I pay the bills. As you should. So we're even. 
Damn. I cook. I, I am raising. I, cook. I am raising our daughter. She's five months. I am raising. She don't even walk her daughter. daughter. You didn't want me to go back to work. Let's get that straight. I worked. Not at that shit job you worked at. No, you worked at a shit job. <laughs> She worked at a shit job. If you're seeing this, fuck you. <laughs> at the end, they were annoying. Okay. Um, the, no, the most annoying thing about you. I am not done. No, you're done. I'm not done. What's the most annoying? What when you take off your shoes in the apartment and you leave them anywhere <laughs> and I'm tripping over them. And then you create piles in the corner. All right, I he got... pulls his dirty clothes and he leaves it in a corner and he says, I'm going to wear this to the gym. Don't touch it. Instead of just putting it in the dirty clothes, Bro, he makes a pile and like, folds okay, it. Okay, I'll go and wear a shirt for like 30 minutes, right? And I don't want to wear it out again, so I'll fold it and put it away. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to go work on the car in this. I'm going to go to the gym in this. So I keep shorts and shirts sectioned. <laughs> I in, hate it. And I know where I leave my shit because I have OCD. So I know this pile means it's not that dirty. This pile means it's fucking dirty. This pile's cool. Yeah, like, his OCD is creating different piles. Yeah, so she fucks my shit up. <laughs> but we're very clean. Yeah. The only thing that's messy is because we have a baby, so we have to interact with her and play with all her toys and everything. So yeah, sometimes this fucking right place now. looks like a fucking bomb went off in this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'll be walking in like we got robbed. <laughs> but if, if we're both clean people. Yeah. The baby's not that clean, but. <laughs> She's a baby. She has her fucking diapers everywhere. <gasps> All right. Um, when did we meet each other's parents? I met your parents at the Dodger Angel game in Angels. And at you, Angels. And you were so nervous. I wasn't even that nervous. He lived literally across the street from it, like around the corner from the Angel Stadium, and he took an hour to get here. <laughs> I couldn't find a fucking Uber, bro. <laughs> no, his brother. Renee, brought yeah, him. Renee had to bring me, dude. Shout out Renee. He brought him, but I think he was so nervous it took him an hour. I didn't want to go, no cap. Yeah, he was coming up with every excuse. Ah, oh, I don't think I could go because this and this, and I was like, just come. You're. When did we tell everybody we were pregnant? You had already came out with that video, though. Yeah, we did a one-year recap video from the day I found out that she was pregnant to telling our best friends to the birth. Um, and I actually just posted that on my YouTube, so if you guys want to go check that out, it'll be linked in the bio, I mean in the description, and it's like two videos away, so if you guys just scroll. But, um, who do we tell first? I told Renee, Renee Garcia Jr., my, my, oh, my yeah. dang. I walked straight across the living room, we lived together at the time, oh, I and remember. I was like, yo, what the fuck, I'm a dad, and he didn't believe me. You guys both hugged and cried together. Yeah. Because he had grown up with you. Yeah, I've known her since you were little. I was seven years old. Mm-hmm. Yup. And then my mom and my sisters knew right away. So they were the first ones. And then I told my two best friends. And we didn't tell social media till later because we waited like three or four months. That yeah. was three or four months. Yeah, yeah. very true. Um, whose reaction were you most scared of? Oh my gosh. I was scared of my dad's reaction. And my older sister's reaction because she, she acts, she's more strict than my mom. My mm. mom, you know, my mom's oh, best friend. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. My older sister's like more strict than my mom. So I was scared to tell her. I was like shaking and like I made it all cute. It was a box with a onesie saying like my auntie, like a whole cute saying on there. And like, I was like, oh, can you meet me here? Like, um, I gotta, I gotta give you something. And then I told her and I started crying. And then you were there when I told my dad. Yeah. We both told my dad together. And my dad was like, he has four girls. So he was like, which one is pregnant? We gave him a box together of like his little, his little onesie of like, he was going to be a grandpa. And then he was like, which one? <laughs> and it was me. Hmm. And he was just in shock. And then you guys, you guys, he had a little talk with you. But it was like, just like how good you are and how good of a father you're going to be. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was pretty scared to tell my mom. You were scared. His family probably knew last. I told my family his last. His family was last. I didn't tell last. anybody in my family, yeah. He was scared to tell his family. Yeah, I was scared I was my mom's baby, so I was scared to tell her. You were her first, yep. so you were her baby boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions now. Mm -hmm. So remember that little viral video with the Sweet Tea Boys? Yep. On their podcast? Yep. You already know which one I'm going to ask you. Yep. The one where you're like, I'll never get married. I will never have kids. You were so against all of that. Why? What made you change that? 
So I think what changed was at that point in my life, I was in a different lifestyle where I might have not been level-headed and mentally all there <laughs> all the time. And um, yeah, I was just hooked on to a fast lifestyle of stupidity and spending money. And I thought that was like a cool way to express my emotions. And uh, I guess you can say make myself feel good because I had a lot of money and I didn't really like to dig into emotion at the time because money was like a good block for everything else. So I kind of let that take the best of my persona. And um, I also didn't have the best example of love and home, shit like that. So I think I was just more or less scared of the fact that like I didn't want to be just like my parents. I didn't want to be in the same loop. So I kind of just figured I would block it out completely and hopefully it didn't happen to me. But then I met you and then you opened up a certain part of me that allowed me to express my emotions in different ways and validate myself in other reasons. And then, yeah, I mean, I just fucking, I kind of, that mindset kind of just changed as I got a little bit older as well. My frontal lobe developed, 25 years old. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I started thinking a little bit differently. I started thinking clear. I mm -hmm. started doing things that were good for me and I got off the bad habits that I were doing. And, and I realized that because I opened that door, I started becoming a better man. And then I just let it take over. Now we have a kid. <laughs> Aww. Back. Do you love me? That's the last question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do love you. For now. What time is it? Shy. I gotta get to a fucking meeting, all right? So now that we finished the basis of the video, which was just a catch up from where I've been at two years ago to now, um, what do you want? So thank you guys for tuning in, listening to us yap about how we met each other and where we're at today. Thank you guys for the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. There's going to be more of these. We're going to come back strong. Um, once again, big shout out to my co-host and my guest, Michaela. Oh, co-host. Nah, she's playing. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Um, if you guys want to know any more juicy information about us, just let us know. We'll come back with another video. And I'm not going to answer anything. <laughs>